Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. The time has come. The time has come to unveil the Weber 2000. Weber Q2000. <laughs> so this is the gas grill that we bought. Um, In freaking, like, January. January. <laughs> but it's been such a crappy, like, winter slash spring that we haven't had a chance to open it up. Yeah. Eat. So we're up here at the cabin. And I feel like brats. Christy feels like brats. So we're going to have some brats on the gas grill. Mm -hmm. So now I get to put it together. Now we're going to put it together. And I'm filming because a couple of people have asked to see this getting put together. So we wanted to include this for you guys. You know, we want to keep you guys in the loop and uh, show you all our experiences, including putting together the grill. And uh, we do plan to use it for a lot healthier things than brats. <laughs> okay, you want to get rid of that box? Uh, I think it's got stuff in it. Well, Still. put it down on the floor, I need to put this down. It's super heavy. See, I told you it was heavy. He's like, just put it on the floor. I'm like, well, it's I didn't heavy. Know that, I didn't know there was a little <laughs> steel grate below Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to grab it with one hand and I almost fell over. <laughs> now I can grab it. Ba -ba -da -ba. Ugh. Well, the good news is it looks mostly already put together. And done. <laughs> and time for brats. So it looks like we're going to have to put the handle on the front. Oh, and it comes with these other ones too. Oh no, these are the fold out little side trays. Yes, they are. This is a really good size. It folds up small, but then folds out to a really nice amount of cooking area. They've included a nice little drip tray, which is great. And Brian's going to be grilling in this, by the way. Because he's crazy like that. It's oh. not awesome like that. <laughs> it's not nearly as much snow as we thought we were going to get. No, it's kind of disappointing, really. We expected it to be, like, snowed in. Brian said he wishes he was snowed in. I do. I wish I was snowed in. <laughs> I was expecting that. Okay, so you always want to make sure you get all the hardware out of the bags. Because if you forget one of these tiny little cotter pins, you're screwed. <laughs> I know this from experience. So I always like to open my hardware and put it in something, such as a nice little tray, which they've included. Thank you, Weber. <laughs> it's a grilling tray, though, isn't it? Uh, actually, that's the drip tray. Oh. So... Cool. One of the biggest problems I've had with smaller gas grills since we've been living the RV lifestyle is uh, the grease buildup. The grease will build up on the bottom of the grill and just sit there and turn into a pool and just wait to catch on fire. And then once that catches on fire, your food's ruined. You've got to keep a constant eye on it so it doesn't burn. you got to turn it off. Or it's just a pain. Yeah, that sounds so terrible. So that's actually kind of why we went with the Weber here, because as you can see, the bottom is bowl-shaped, and this drip tray goes actually underneath. So everything's going to drip straight down into the drip tray. That's good. Which is great. All right, so first things first, we have our handy-dandy grill owner's guide. Which you'll probably never look at. Never. Nothing of consequence in here. Ooh, what's this? Recipe cards? It looks like recipe cards. It's more of a grilling guide. Oh. So if you've never really grilled before, keep this. It tells you all the meat temperatures that you need to cook to. and. Uh, oh, that stuff's just programmed into your brain. Well, yeah. I was born with that information like a <laughs> cyborg. <laughs> a cooking cyborg. I'm a total nerd. <laughs> okay. First things first. You already said that. So this is second thing second. So <laughs> well, you did. Sorry. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, this is fairly Baby. easy to put together. So, I mean, I knew that. I just wanted to make sure I was doing it correct. Oh. So wow. the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the actual grill grates.
And this is where all the magic happens. Okay. Next, step three. Ooh, pretty easy. We're going to install the lid. So this is the lid. The front of the grill is facing you. And so I'm going to put the two back hinges along the back here. Then I bet you have those little pins, right? Exactly. So then I'm going to take my two pins and cotter pins, install them in through here, and take my cotter pins like such. That's easy. Okay, next. Now you will need a Phillips head screwdriver for this, so I've already taken the liberty of grabbing a tool set. And I think since you'll be using it for the first time tonight, maybe you can let them know what you think of how it cooks. Most definitely. Okay, so now what we're going to do so we're going to install the front handle. It looks like it's smiling at me. It's like a cute <laughs> little, cute little grill character. Cute little grill character? Yeah, like I, I feel like it could just open up and talk at me. Okay, so how we're going to do this is this is the, the handle you want the cue be facing down obviously like okay. it normally would we're going to take these little rubber nubbies that's the technical rubber term. nubby bubby bumpers something, right? like, something that. like that and you'll see this end has the little teat on it that's going to go in there in there up oh, 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 oh. or not work. stay <laughs> okay so i'll just leave those there for a second And what I'm going to do is I'll probably install them one at a time just because it's easier that way for me. Oh, this is going to destroy the face illusion. Might just end up looking like a unibrow. <laughs> all right. So then I'll tighten those all the way down. I'll just finger tighten them first. We're gonna do my screwdriver. Oh, mm -hmm. Tighten that all the way down. It is really easy to put together. Yes, it is. I think I even I could have done it. I think you're right. All right, so that part's done. That's step four. Step five, mm. ours doesn't come with a temperature gauge. So, we are done. Really? That's that. Oh, okay, wait, wait, sorry, sorry. I lied, I lied. We do have our knobby. Now, am I crazy? Didn't we buy a stand for this? Yes, we did. I did not bring that up with us. Oh, okay. So you're just going to have to use it on the tabletop or something? That's correct. Okay. But we did buy a stand. Yes, we did. So next time when we use this at our campsite, we'll, we'll use it with the stand. It's like going to be super soon that we are leaving Colorado and heading off on our adventures. And I'm sure we'll be using this grill a lot because You'll it's be going to be summertime soon. Quite a bit. In fact, if you remember last summer, we did most of our cooking outside. I don't know how much we really showed last summer. Our videos were a lot shorter last summer. Yeah, we were less in-depth last summer, mm -hmm. but I think this summer will be a lot more in-depth. We're going to have lots of videos. I'd like to even do some grilling cooking videos because you're so good with the grill. Well, that and Racy can help me out. Yes. All right. So then where's the drip tray go? It goes, drip tray goes oh, right underneath. under there. That's cool. So the drip tray does not just 
placed under there. Did a little bit more looking. We actually found the tracks right here on the, if you're facing the front of it, on the left side, on the legs. And this actually goes, slides right in there. I figured it looked like it should, but we like just that, it actually find it. falls down into Perfect. it, so it locks. Nice. All right, I want to see you cook some brats, baby. That's mm. what I'm talking about. Let's do them up there. Setting up the grill. You excited? I am. Of course I am. I get to grill. You can use it for the very first time? I am indeed. So let's see if we can get, as you can see, I'm using an actual big 25 pound LP canister as opposed to the little one that's made for this. I have an adapter. Nice. That's really cool. That way I don't have to pay 250 for a little bottle that's only going to make it through like three cookings. So. Maybe I should turn this on. Yes, we have ignition. <laughs> Now I let it warm up and I get to go get the brats. So on our past grill, you may have seen it in use before, you may not. Um, you know, brats have a tendency to be really greasy and spit a lot of grease. And so these were pretty much the main culprits for having a really dirty, greasy grill that would catch on fire, have a lot of grease fires. Um, it was a real pain in the butt to clean too, so I never really cleaned it that much, which added to the the whole uh, fire danger aspect of it. But I think with this grill, I think we'll largely mitigate that problem just by the uh, the shape of the grill itself. Cool. We'll be anxious to see if that works. Oh yes. How's it cooking so far? Awesome. Yeah? Yeah, it's cooking really nice. I really like the non-stick grilling surface. Really like that. And it seems as the drippings are going straight down into the pan, which is very, very cool. Good. Which means no fire. Yay. No grease fire, at least. So. Well, they look good. So far, I'm really enjoying That's it. a lot of brats. Who are you cooking for? Well, you and me, and then tomorrow I might have some. I love brats. I can only eat two of those. <laughs> Unfortunately, all of them have cheese, so there goes my no dairy plan. I totally didn't do that on purpose. I promise. They look beautiful. Don't they, though? Mmm. Not a bad spot to be grilling, is it? One of the best spots in town. Yum. Those look so good, baby. Ooh. Thank you, thank you. Oh, and making some sauteed onions. You can never do anything basic, can you? <laughs> now you gotta have caramelized onions with sausages. Come caramelized on onions and making some veggies. <laughs> Microwave Yum. Onions. Okay, so now that you've finished cooking them, what mm -hmm. did you think about cooking on your grill? I really like the grill. I really, really like it. I'm actually looking forward to cleaning it. I never look forward to cleaning it. Why are you looking forward to cleaning it? Because it seems like it's going to be really easy. Oh, good. So. Bonus. And I'm excited to see how easy it is. Well, I think it's time to eat. It is. We'll give further reviews on the grill next time we use it to cook something else.